It's week two of the Ontario election campaign, and one man has defined this campaign so far. His name is Tim Hudak, the progressive conservative leader. He's promising a bold plan to create a million jobs over eight years, a million private sector jobs. But there's a catch. Mr. Hudak announced last week that he would have to fire 100,000 public servants. This includes teachers, um, uh, bureaucrats, uh, paper pushers, lots of different folks and lots of different walks of lives. He says, he says no health care workers uh, and no police officers. But there are concerns in the other camps, specifically by uh, Premier Kathleen Wynne, the Liberal leader, and by uh, Andrea Horvath, the NDP leader, that they're... Um, that this was going to mean major upheaval in Ontario. Mr. Hudak has spent much of that time since announcing uh, these cuts doing a bit of damage control, trying to minimize people's concerns. He, his point is government is bloated, it needs to be cut, and he has to start somewhere. He said it's, it's tough medicine, it's not going to be easy, but he believes that it will lead to uh, a more efficient government and a government that can lower taxes and a government that can be stre streamlined in such a way that Ontario would become a more attractive place to do business. It's an interesting time for the province and it's only going to get a lot more interesting in the week, as week two gets underway Monday here at Queen's Park. For TheStar.com, I'm Robert Benzie, traveling with the Hudak campaign.